look at making a bouncing ball simulator program. This is something that uh, I was asked by a student, and so I thought I would make a quick video out of it. Sorry for the background noise, there's a lot going on here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm in Python, and this is gonna work in Python 2 or Python 3, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no difference uh, for the code that we're gonna be doing today. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna use the turtle module. Uh, which allows us to put you know, small turtles, small shapes on the screen. And so what I have to do first is import that module. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, setting up the screen a little bit. So I'm going to do something, I'm going to make a new variable called WN, and we'll call it turtle.screen. Note, screen is capitalized. Okay. And then what I can do is I can use that to change the background color. And I, I'm a pretty simple person, I like black. And I'm going to give it a title, and we'll call it Bouncing Ball Simulator. Very original. Okay. And then for the very, very last line of the program, so that's why I'm going to make a little space here, and we're going to use something called wn.mainloop. And what that does is it keeps our window open. So let's run that and see what we have so far. And this is good practice. Um, you know, Type some code in, test it. Don't type a lot of code, just do a little bit at a time. Okay, so I've got a screen. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put a little ball right about here, and I'm gonna drop it. When it hits here, it's gonna bounce up. So uh, we're gonna go through the steps of that and how that's going to work. So the first thing I need to do is to create the ball. And so I'm gonna originally call it ball. And since I'm using the turtle module, to create a turtle, I use turtle.turtle. .turtle. Note the capitalization, small t, then a big T. And I want my ball to have a shape. Uh, we no surprise, we're going to make it a shape is a circle. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is, uh, well, let's say, where do we want it to start? So I say ball dot go to, and it's going to be zero right in the middle, in the xy coordinates. And then we'll start at about 200. Okay, so let's test that, see what happens. Okay, so I got an error because I forgot to close the uh, quotation marks. Uh, total rookie mistake. Uh, okay, happens to everybody. And there we go. Okay, now I don't see anything. And this is because I believe the default color is black. So ball.color, I'm gonna use green. There we go. Now you notice what happened there is when you create a turtle, it always starts at the center of the screen. And then I had it go to 0, 200. Now you notice there's a line, so we gotta get rid of the line. You notice it was really, really slow. Because by default, the turtle module animates things for you. Uh, but we wanna get rid of that because we don't want that to happen. So to fix those things, I wanna say ball.pen up. That moves the pen up so it doesn't draw a line anymore. I'm gonna do ball.speed. Now this is the animation speed not the speed of movement. So let's test that. Okay, so you saw it kind of briefly appeared here and jumped right up to there. Okay, so what we need to do uh, is we need to keep track of two things. Well, one thing for now, well, the change in Y. So your speed up and down is the change in your Y coordinate. So a positive speed would be up and a negative speed would be down. So let's say ball.dy, I'm gonna use dy out of physics, so delta y, and down is negative. So I'm gonna say equals negative, let's just do negative two. And for now, I don't know if that's a good number or not, but we'll try that. Okay. So what I have to do is I need to create a, a while true loop. And what this does is this repeats forever and ever until we break it. So in my while true loop, I'm gonna indent here. And I'm going to say ball dot set y because I want to change the y coordinate to the current uh, y coordinate plus the current dy. Okay. Now I could separate this out into several statements, but what this does is it takes the ball, sets its y coordinate to the current y coordinate plus the change in y. Now, since the change in y is negative, the ball is going to fall down. So let's run that and see if that's working. Okay, so that's I'm pretty happy with that so far. 
course, now it falls right off the screen. So let's fix that part next. Okay, so what we have to do is check for a bounce. And or how we're going to do that is we're going to look at the Y coordinate. So if the ball's Y core is less than, let's use negative 300. So if it gets down to about here, we want it to bounce. And we're just going to do a perfect bounce. So we want the, so basically what's going to happen is the DY going down is negative. So we need to change that negative to a positive. And the way to do that is ball.dy times equals negative one. Okay. So I'm going to run that. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Now it's going to bounce. It's going to go off the screen the opposite direction. Okay, so this is where you know, physics comes into place. Okay, so on the Earth, um, we have something called gravity. So let's make gravity. And on the Earth, it's 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, on here, I've just played with the values and I found 0 0.1 works pretty well. And so gravity is acceleration. So what gravity does is it affects the speed. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to set this ball speed to zero, but inside my loop, every time through the loop, I'm going to change that dy by the gravity. Ball.dy minus, since gravity is always down, equals gravity. So what that's going to do is gravity is going to keep affecting the ball as it falls. So it will fall slower or sorry, it will fall faster, and then when it's bouncing back up, it'll eventually slow down and come back down. So let's try that. Okay, see how it's getting faster? It bounces, getting slower, bounces, getting slower, bounces, getting slower. Okay, so there you have it, uh, a very simple bouncing ball simulator. You can play around with the numbers and see how those things go, uh, but this works pretty well. Uh, so that was part one. Part two will add some extra features to that.